Hey, hi, hello. This is Sarmana from A4 Analytics, and today we're going to see about how to compare the last year and this year data in Power BI. Stay tuned. And for this video, we're going to use a global superstore data and most of our tabbed users may know this data set. It's a widely available data set available in the market. You can also download it in the description below. And, and we're going to use uh, order ID, order date, sorry, order date and sales measure. It's always better to switch a graph from table to table to better understand to the data we have you know so in this order date and we have our data starting from 2011 january to 2014 december we have full data of 2011 to 2014 you know so we have a sales for each year and month and we need to compare 2011 January and 2012 January data, the sales data. So we're going to see what is the difference of it. So how we can do that. To do so, we need to create a measure. So we're going to click this new measure. We will get a measure and we're going to say uh, last year sales. And so that is a function in Power BI called same period last year. So when you type a same, it shows written a set of dates in the current selection from a previous year. This is exactly what we need. So we're going to use this function, same period last year, and asking for a date. When it's mentioning a date, it's asking for a full date. And also we need to provide the date, which is order date we have. So we have auto date. Yeah. And uh, when you look at it, when you look at it, uh, we need to have uh, sales data, right? So we just have a, a column. So that is a very useful function in Power BI to do it. Uh, there is a function called calculate. You know. So it asking for expression. The expression is sum of sales. Some of sales and it's a filter. Well, they have a filter and closing the parenthesis. Right. So, so you can see the measure here. You know, this is the measure we calculated. So, we're gonna drag and drop into the table, and now we can see for 2012 we go to the data of 2011 you know for 2011 january it is 98 and uh, for uh, 2011 february it is 91152 91.52 and goes on and now what we need to do we need to uh, uh, show a difference between this year and last year how we can do that and and obviously we need to create another measure to do so Let's say a uh, difference. Uh, difference in sales, let's say. And what we're going to do is sum of sales. It's quite obvious. Minus last year sales. When you click it, there will be another measure. If you click it, no. So you need to make sure this table is selected before clicking the, 
step measure drag and drop it and you see for 2011 you know for double data is here this is the 11 data 2011 data and this is the difference between the 2012 and 2011 and for the next row is same this is the 2012 data and this is the 2011 data this is the difference between 2011 and 2012 and and you see uh, we have uh, the values here because for last year data so obviously we're comparing 2012 and 11 so these things should be a zero right let's say i want to see the percentage of a difference between 2011 and 12 so how we can do that and so i'm going to use a divide function to divide uh, 2011 and 2012 data and and we have it so the percentage difference of 2011 and 2012 is 1.37 percentage and uh, and goes on and uh, today we have uh, learned how to see the difference between uh, the last year data and this year data in Power BI and and wait for more videos to come. Happy learning. See you bye.